they just took my son from me over something simple. Penny, it the family of Rashawn Crowder now leans on each other after their son and brother was gunned down outside his dorm at Lackawanna College in May. But something is dumb as them looking in their direction. Friday, after a preliminary hearing, a judge determined there's enough evidence for Ryan Harding and Marlon Clotter to face trial on first-degree murder and other charges. Two witnesses took the stand. Irvasha Cooper and Corey Williams each said Harding pulled the trigger killing Crowder after Clotter urged him on. Whatever happens, their parents get more than I get. I go to the graveyard to visit my son, and they'll go to a state correctional institution of Pennsylvania to visit their sons, and they can still hold their hands, and they can talk to them. I love you. I'll see you. Okay. After the hearing, Crowder's family set up a new memorial near where the shooting took place. They lit candles and prayed, remembering a 22-year-old who had the goal of finishing college and dreamed of the NFL. Prosecutors say even though Marlon Clotter didn't pull the trigger himself, he did enough to warrant just as serious charges. The, the simple fact of him not being the trigger man does not alleviate his responsibility. He encouraged the shooting, he provided the murder weapon, he provided the opportunity to get the shooter out of there. Attorney Bernie Brown, who represents Ryan Harding, would not comment if he's going to try for a self-defense strategy, but in court he tried to show Crowder may have stepped off a street corner approaching the suspects at the time of the shooting. We have a strategy in place, we have a game plan, and we feel we accomplished what we needed to today in order to continue that 